another get ready with me so today's wig is from omg her hair and i'm working with their 13 by 6 hd lace front wig the hair texture is yaki and the length of the wig is 22 so um in today's get ready with me i'm going to be showing you guys how i install style and also take you guys along with me to do my makeup shopping come back and do my makeup so if you guys want to see how i got this whole look together then make sure you stay tuned and carry on watching and i'll catch you guys in my next one so i'm just gonna jump straight into this video you guys can see i've got the wig on now and this is what the hairline is looking like i'm so impressed with the lace that comes with this wig it looks really really good the hairline looks really good as well so so all i've done so far is just to apply some um foundation underneath the lace just to help it match my skin a lot better so now i'm just gonna go ahead and install the wig and then we can go from there Thank you. 
so now I'm gonna move on to makeup. I've already gone ahead to moisturize my skin. So today I'm gonna be doing a full face using drugstore um, makeup products, but I wanna incorporate something new on my channel where, you know, I'll take you guys along with me to go do my makeup shopping and then, you know, come back and do my makeup. So now I'm gonna take you with me, go pick up the makeup products and then we'll come back and beat this face, okay? Okay, so now I look a hot mess. Like I look a hot, hot, hot mess, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go to Boots and Super Drugs to see what makeup products I can get. I'm basically gonna get like a full makeup kit from foundation, concealer, everything. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna get the Maybelline Superstay foundation. This foundation is amazing. It's full coverage, absolutely love it. So I'm gonna get the shade, let me see. I'm not sure if this is the same um, foundation I tried one time that I really liked. Seems like they've changed um, the packaging. So I picked up the Maybelline Superstay 30 hour foundation. I feel like they've changed the packaging, so I'm not sure if this is the one that I tried before that I really liked. And I'm gonna get the concealer as well. This concealer is amazing. The coverage you get from this is everything, honestly. So, um, okay, I might have to get the concealer from Super Drugs just because my shades aren't my shades aren't there, so I'm gonna have to get mine from Super Drugs. But um, I picked up this brow pencil from Sleep, so I'm gonna try it out. I got the shade Ash Brown and Dark Brown. And I just realized they have setting powders as well. I didn't, I didn't know Sleek had um, setting powders. That's the banana shade. I think I'm gonna get the light one because I like a bright on the eyes, so I'm gonna get this. I also picked up the e.l.f. primer. I've heard so much about this primer. This is a poreless um, cutter primer. I need a lip liner, but I need something that's darker than this. You guys know how much I love the sleek um, lip pencil in the shade, just say nothing, but I feel like I need something darker. So I'm gonna go to Super Drugs and see what they have. So I just need a lip liner and eyeshadow palette and we're good to go. Now that we're back, um, I picked up two foundation shades just because I'm not sure what foundation, what shade would um, match me better. But I'm going to start off by priming my skin. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Potty Primer. And I think for me, instead of like rubbing it into my skin, I'm just going to pat this. Um, I'm just going to pat it into my skin instead. I really like this primer because it really, it does help to um, reduce your pores. And I don't want to say it's oil controlling, but to an extent, it does kind of control your oil as well. Okay, so I've just applied some um, setting powder, you know, just to lock that primer into my skin. It doesn't really matter what um, type of powder you use. You can use any setting powder that you have. You're going to apply foundation over this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so moving on to foundation, I picked up the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. I have used this foundation before and I loved this foundation, um, but I do feel like they might have changed the formula just because the bottle looks a bit different. When I got the foundation, it said 24 hour, but then now it says 30 so I think they have definitely changed the formula and when I had the foundation as well I felt like it was a dupe for the Huda Beauty foundation because you guys know how full coverage that foundation is but yeah so obviously now I'm going to be trying out the new formula that they have and I picked up two different shades I picked up the shade 70 Coco and 75 Marcos and it says on the bottle up to 30 hour wear it's a full coverage foundation it's light as air it's transfer resistant and seamless matte finish and it's oil free as well so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation now and let's see. So because I'm using a matte foundation, I'm not gonna apply any foundation underneath my eyes just because I don't want too much products around that area and you know, it can breathe basically. So I'm only gonna apply concealer, but I'm not gonna apply foundation there. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. It's definitely a full coverage foundation and it dries down quite quick as well. So you kind of have to work quick with this. Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna be left with a patch on your face. Um, I don't really know how I feel about the foundation just yet because I've just applied it, but we'll see as time goes on. So I'm gonna move on to highlight now. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline um, Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer and I'm gonna use the shade 10. This is also one of the really, really good concealers out there. Like, it's really, really good. Forget the fact that it's drugstore. This concealer is amazing. This is, you can put this next to the Too Faced concealer and I use that every day. So so this concealer is good. 
okay i think i should have gotten a darker shade to start with and then go in with this one but i only got one shade it's fairly bright but it's okay we can work with this coverage from this concealer by the way is ugh, listen if you're looking for a drugstore concealer that's full coverage full coverage this is your guy this concealer right here is your guy literally okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer using the sleek makeup face from baking and setting powder i actually didn't know that sleek had a setting powder so the shade i got is um light i got the shade light so i think they have three shades but i got the lightest one because you guys know i like my bright on the eye anyway so so i'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with my morphe filter effect finishing powder in the shade filter 13 i feel like this is literally like my favorite face powder i'm still trying to find another um face setting powder that that's gonna top this or that'll make me switch but i i can't find one so for now this is it okay this is it for now i'm using the morphe m439 brush to set the rest of my face so i really like using this um brush because it's so dense so i feel like i get the best coverage using this brush to set my face now i'm gonna go ahead and use the morphe um face palette to contour and bronze my face i'm gonna use the last two shades at the end to um you know bronze and contour my face Okay, so moving on to brows, I picked up the Sleek Maker um, Micro Fine Brow Pencil. So it says Design and Define. And I got two shades just because I wasn't sure um, what shade would, you know, show up on my skin. So and I got Ash Brown and I got Dark Brown. So Okay, so moving on to my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Revolution um, Reloaded Velvet Rose Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this palette for so long. So I'm going to move on to my lips now and I'm going to use the Doll Beauty Lip Pencil in the shade um, Killing It. And I really like this pencil because it actually shows up on my lips. I'm just going to apply the Revolution Lipstick in the shade Undressed. This is actually going to be my first time using Doll Beauty's um, lip gloss. So I got this from Boots as well. I picked this up from Boots. This is the Doll Beauty lip gloss in the shade Champagne Kisses. Okay, so guys, I really wasn't feeling that lip combo, so I had to change it. I'm going to use my NYX lip gloss in the shade Sugar High. When I tell you this foundation, listen, if you have dry skin, don't even bother getting this foundation because, bruh, I don't know if you guys can see how matte my face is right now. And it's because of the foundation. So I picked up the sleek highlighter. I don't really like um, using gold highlighter on my skin tone just because I feel like it clashes. I'm just going to apply a small amount. I really love this highlighter. I remember I've used it before because they actually sent it to me in their PR. The smallest amount goes a long way. And it just gives you this glow of like you're glowing from within like okay so i'm done with my makeup and this is what my face is looking like i feel like if you have dry skin just stay away from this foundation because guys my face is matte like it's so matte but it doesn't feel dry like it doesn't feel like i need to i want to take off my makeup it doesn't feel like it's pulling on my skin or anything like that this is giving off like 
if you like that matte full coverage look then this foundation is definitely for you because this finish right here i'm actually loving this finish right I, I really like the finish like the fact that i've had my makeup on for how long and there's not like i'm not nothing and you guys know i have oily combination skin right so normally by now my t-zone and especially around my cheeks would be oily not even oily but like there would be some sort of oil seeping through but like i've had my makeup on now for like a good two three hours okay two three hours and nothing my face is matte i don't need to block my face nothing is completely matte so i'm just gonna go back to my hair and then i'll come back and give you guys like my overall um review of today's makeup basically so i'm just gonna run through the parting with my concealer brush so i'm not gonna apply any more products i'm just gonna use what i've got left on the brush there's not really much to do to this hair it's quite low maintenance to be fair and i've already straightened it as well before coming on camera anyway so the hair's good like i'm good to go i'm ready i'm done i'm so in love with how i look right now i don't know if you guys have clocked the weight loss because maybe listen cheekbones popping really love this hair i love it okay so i am ready and i'm done with my makeup and my hair so this is the finished look you guys let me know what you think of this look down below i'm so, i can't listen i keep running my fingers through this hair because the hair feels really soft the hair texture is everything it's giving me that black girl vibe and i love it black midi part in straight wig you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong okay so this is the finished look and guys can i just say listen from the hair to the makeup everything together right now is just making a lot of sense okay it's making too much sense this wig from omg her hair is the bomb okay i normally tend to stay away from yakky hair texture or like maybe kinky hair texture because i feel like it's just it doesn't give the same vibe as like a silky hair texture but guys this yakky wig is everything i feel like it's just giving me that black girl vibe black girl magic i don't know so like i said this wig is from omg her hair and this is their 13 by six lace front wig as you guys can see the parting goes all the way to the back so you can actually do so many different hairstyles with this wig but obviously you know i keep it simple i stick to my middle or my side part and even the side parting is like every now and then and when it comes to the laces or the laces everything it literally just melts into your skin like the lace is so good so yeah when it comes to the um when it comes to the wig i'll make sure to list all the links that you guys need to know down below in the description box okay so now going back to my makeup i am in love with my makeup i know i've seen mixed reviews on this foundation but guys i'm in love i'm actually in love i know at the start of the video i was saying i wish they didn't change the formula and everything like that but i actually like this I, I really like this foundation the only thing i would say is that if you have dry skin just stay away this is like a no-go area like don't try it don't do it don't even think about it like if you have dry skin do not use don't get this foundation just don't get it <laughs> don't get it i've had my makeup on for how long now and there's no oil sipping through and i have oily combination skin my t-zone gets really really shiny and really oily and there's not one drop or one single nothing my face is matte i really like the foundation obviously i can't wear it for as long as it's safe to really test it out if it's a 30 hour long wear foundation but you know so far i really really like this i like the finish it's giving flawless it's giving airbrush and when it comes to the sleek setting powder um there's not really much to say i feel like i need to try the setting powder again to see how i feel about this but um i like the undertone that it's giving me right now you guys know i love my bright under eye and i really really like how you know my under eye looks right now so and when it comes to the primer i'll definitely recommend the primer as well like i love my ah oh, listen today's makeup so yeah just leave a comment down below let me know what makeup brand you guys would like me to try next so i'll just take you guys with me go do my makeup shopping come back and do a video for you guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed i have so many more content coming for you guys this year okay and please make sure you leave a comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye